Working on yourself, developing yourself, growing, dealing with the hard times, and just having a blessing because you have some good times. So I just want to touch base on uh, the situations. It's a couple situations that I want to touch base on in this, and uh, pretty quick, just a couple principles. Uh, the Derek Johnson uh, Jackson cheating scandal that Tasha K. Uh, has pulled out of her, you know, snooping, you know, subterfuge self, which is cool. I mean, this is what she does. But my thing is, you know, it's kind of interesting with this society. <laughs> it's kind of interesting with the society that we live in in the United States of America and, and, and the Western white world, period. You know... If you look at now, I I actually have sub to uh, Derek Jackson, but I literally have not looked at damn near hardly none of his his stuff. I don't really look at it. But the thing is, every time I seen something, it was always like a positive message that I seen. But according to you know what I seen, you know the some of the stuff. Obviously, he was kind of they they highlight some hard. Uh, core messages that he put on other people and uh, you know of course he's cheating so he's a hypocrite on some of his messages but the way I take you guys and you know he's 31 years old everybody's mad at him like he's the fucking most wickedest evilest thing in the universe and then you know like I said, the way this world has trained us, this society has trained us to enjoy, well, a lot of people, to enjoy, because I look at Tasha K, unwind with Tasha K, she always fucking drinking. She's always in the club. I mean, she's always into some old gossipy shit, fighting with, Cardi B and you know just low level low life type shit 
not positive stuff, gossipy stuff. You know, I mean, that's our job, I guess, but it's just interesting, like, somebody like that trying to judge somebody with a moral, on a moral level, it was stupid. And th it's just interesting. And you mad at Derek Jackson because literally this man, I mean, to me, he's, 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 he's a man, he's a crackhead, though. To me, he's, he's a dope fiend because you can get addicted to sex. You can get addicted because he said not only was he having, he was cheating on her, his wife. He has a beautiful wife. Then people took pot shots at his wife. She's a very modest woman, very godly woman. And she's pretty. She has an absolutely beautiful spirit. This, this woman, I mean, I looked at his wife. I was like, wow, she's actually just beautiful. Like a just a genuinely nice person. Absolutely nice. Uh, but obviously her spirit has been jaded. But she still loves her husband. But you got to think about it. This man, she's known him since he was 31 years old. Excuse me, since he was like 18 years old, 19 years old. They're like 30 something, 31. So she literally knows this man and she loves this man. He knows this woman. He loves this woman. But we have to understand, just because you love someone, it doesn't mean that the flesh addictions, the urges that affect us all as human beings, all of us have flesh addictions. Any uh, natural urge can be made into a, an addiction. Everything. The need to feel good, to, to relax. But because this man has, uh, according to the information Tasha K has put out, which seems to be have co been corroborated by his wife, because I watched the uh, interview that him and his wife did uh, exposing themselves or him uh, and then I watched the, the bullshit that Tasha K put out which I mean to me the way you put out something see like I, she laughing at him why she drunk with her old dirty drunk ass I'm just saying like look look you can't tell me shit about nobody Who's trying to do good, even if he's lying, like the Breakfast Club of all people, who had people on there talking about doing butt stuff. Charlemagne, the God, this nigga giving men uh, fucking molds of his butt, his behind as gifts. I mean, just real dirty stuff. And each one of these dudes, DJ Envy and Charlemagne sit up there talking about how they done cheated on their wives but then they sat up there and condemned and stuck this man while he was down stepped on this man while he was on the ground as if he's just the dirtiest dude in the universe you know the obviously the man has growing to do okay his wife if she has the patience to deal with his shortcomings she is it's within her right and it's, I think, it's within her interest to stick with this man. If, he, if she can be patient enough to develop with him uh, as he develops. Because he will develop. That's what we do. But this world is designed to trap us using our urges. Our, I mean, like I said... Look, women, I know that hurts when uh, a guy cheats on you and feels like you're not good enough, he doesn't love you, and Tasha K interviewed the woman, and the women was talking about how he was saying, 
uh, to them that sex with his wife was boring and all that's bullshit because guess what? That's kid mindset. That's immature mentality. I mean, men have testosterone. I mean, and the thing is, some men have a little bit more discipline. If, if you're not being taught how to discipline your life, yourself, you know, if you're attractive, women are going to gravitate towards you. They're going to make themselves available to you. And just as easy as it is for women to overeat, some, some men, it's just that easy for them to cheat on their woman and forgot and just that quick just that quick you i mean literally you can be in a private area with a woman and she go down on you or something and now you're like and you were just too weak in that moment to stop the process because of course internally you have a weakness and here she is you're too weak so, so my point is this. These are just things we're going to have to kind of work with because we are, our people are in a, a situation where we're, we are not developing our spirits. We're not developing our discipline. And without discipline, you're going to not be able to build. You will not be able to build legacy without some discipline. So whether that's financial discipline whether that's eating addiction discipline, whether that's sexual discipline, whether that whatever it is for you, drugs, alcohol, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Some people have some real nasty perversions out there too, some shit that's real bad. People molest folks. People do all kind of crap. And uh, my, my point is this. Some stuff that's so disgusting, nobody can deal with. If you do not have the patience to deal with someone as they start to develop themselves, then you can't deal with it and move on. That woman is well within her right to get rid of him. That woman is well within her right to get rid of him. But the thing is, if she wants to stay and try to develop her family, that is fine. She, she should do that. She should stay and develop her family. All of these single women, all of these dirty, wine old women and men and the dudes who want to talk all this stuff, knowing that they done cheated on their women, knowing that they ain't nowhere as good as this dude. I mean, my thing is this. Criticize, but... We should have when 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 people fall or people have a decline or a de or their 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 shortcomings are exposed. Instead of laughing, I think we need to be a little bit more uh, trying to learn some lessons. Stop taking your situations for granted. Don't get arrogant. One of the things that uh, they they said during their interview uh, during their expose on YouTube. It was just saying how, you know, he's giving all this advice to other people, which he obviously gives good advice. Keep in mind, a crackhead can tell you, do not take crack. Do not smoke crack. And then they'll go around the corner and smoke a pipe. But did they tell you a lie? He's, he's addicted. The man is addicted. He's weak. Okay? Now... The way that, what I see is, my thing is this. They're trying to keep their family together. He's trying to self-develop. Uh, my thing is, the, the eyes of the world is going to be on them, which is probably good for them. But also, there's going to be more women out there trying to entice this man. The wife, if you know that you're weak, you... I feel that the, as, as close as if you keep your spouse close to you as you develop your business, as you go and move about, she can protect you from your own weakness. She will keep other women off of you, just her presence. 
and the same with the men. The thing is, uh, she, she was hurt. Now, now, I'm gonna go back to this point. One of the women that he cheated with said that the wife wasn't good in bed or something, and he cheated on her while she was pregnant. So, and she found out. And obviously the wife, she did find out and she told how obviously she seen her man, her own man that she knew since she was 19 years old, the love of her life, having all this wild sex, just horrible stuff because you do not want to see your spouse in that light. It, it, it will devastate you because you cannot look at that person the same. You can you have to look, you have to grow and elevate. For her to even be trying to work this out, to me, I, I look at that as her trying to elevate her own spiritual strength and emotional strength. Now, from what I heard in the video from him, he's still weak. He's still weak. And if you, because you could tell somebody's weak when they start saying all the right things because a mesmerizer, they're going to say the right things. But you got to know that you're weak as hell. The way that you, you, you can augment that into this number one prayer, fasting. If you can abstain from food, you can develop your willpower. And you got to keep your wife around. You got to keep pouring into yourself um, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. Because the more you understand about your weakness, the more patience and the more strength you will have against that weakness. Because what will happen if he doesn't develop his internal spirit for real. And they talk a lot about God, but they really going to have to it's not just a quick thing where God just pours in some miraculous thing. If they thinking God's coming from the outside, then he going he going to be messed up again. Because when that night hit, when that situation occurs where you're in a situation where there's nothing stopping you from making a, a bad decision, because he remember he said not only was it um if you look at their video, not only was it um, him cheating, he was on drugs. This man is a dope fiend. And you can't believe shit a dope fiend say. Now he's getting counseling, so that's good. Hopefully, which to me, if she knows what he's on. So the cheating part is this the tip of it but he released some more stuff because he said that he getting high he drinking so that's got it because you cannot be resistant from from sin if you out of your right mind if you are out of your right mind you can't resist you see so you know i hope they come through i hope they come through because to me you know pe humans are humans people gonna mess up if it, it, it hurts bad and uh, if you're this type of person that can have patience with your family member as they come through a hard time, then it, that's a blessing. But if not, then, you know, just let it go. Uh, a lot of our people just criticizing who always sin. You normally get cheated on. You normally cheat on other people. You normally put in nasty, disgusting type of uh, energy into the atmosphere. But this this person, even if they're lying and pretending like they're better than anyone else, they're at least putting positive messaging out. Now, you got caught being imperfect. But the point is, you're not better than him. And the thing is, he's not better than you. 
But that doesn't mean that everyone should not be trying to get better. Everybody should just be trying to get real, you see. And that's the issue that's happening here. I think people like Tasha K, uh, Charlemagne the God and the Breakfast Club and all of that crappy criticism. And then, you know, other people that's doing it, trying to beat people, kick people while they're down. And Derek himself, you know, this is, this. you know, the thing is, you know, if you got that kind of personality where you're trying to put other people down, of course, it's, it's your turn coming up. But I guarantee you, Tasha's turn is coming up. Charlemagne's turn is coming up again. All of these folks' turn is coming up. You got to be very careful because, you know, Derek, should, the lesson should show that your words are going to be used against you. You know, especially if you're speaking the truth. Because the truth is independent of the person who's speaking it. I, a parrot can repeat the truth. Mr. Farrakhan said, you are not what you say you are or what you believe. You are what you do. You are what you do. And what you choose to do, <coughs> that's what we got to be working on. And nobody better than nobody else. So when you speak the truth, you're listening to yourself because you're just a conduit for the truth. That's all you are as a human being. Now, our power comes when in when we do the truth. And that's something that we got to understand. And uh, other than that, I mean, I know a lot of people enjoy looking at another person as they go down and a family suffering. For some reason, people enjoy and have fun. Uh, seeing a family suffering. Uh, Charlemagne gave the man a donkey of the day, which I don't understand because the man is guilty of a, a weakness that probably most of the folks that's laughing at him is guilty of. You know, the two women or three women that know he's married. I mean, you know, the women that know he's married, but would, would even if you choose to sleep with him, or would if you had the chance. You know, Jesus, what did Jesus say? You know, it's, it's, you are what basically you're what you think. As a man thinketh, so is he. You know, so just from you wanting to do something is sin. That's, you gotta, you still have to control your behavior. You see, and that's what it is. We want to control our behavior from the point of will. Discipline. You know, don't, you know, it's like my thing is we should be analyzing this thing in a way that it could be instructive and productive. And if the family can be saved, that's a blessing. If they cannot be saved, you know, just break up so the people won't get damaged. I think, I happen to think those two people are going on two separate paths in life now. Derek is a phony and he needs to be right now. I mean, basically right now he's talking all this spiritual stuff and God, 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 but he's only doing that to deceive his wife. I believe his wife truly believes that stuff and she has to go on her own uh, uh, journey as well because the point is, you know, it's, it's, it's a, I believe it's a sin when there's wisdom available and you stay ignorant. You can't uh, ignore facts. So anyway, all right, y'all, peace. Press the thumbs up, like, and share. Yep, yep.
just like that. <laughs> 